I am a Christian, but during the course of restoration, I have learned so much attending these meetings. Should I be rebaptized? Not necessarily. Rebaptism is biblical. You find it in Acts 19, 1 to 7, where Paul met 12 disciples who had never heard of the Holy Spirit. Well, how can you be a child of God not having heard of the Holy Spirit? Romans 8, 9 says, if any man hath not the Spirit of Christ, he is what? None of his. And so after Paul instructed them, he baptized them again. Rebaptism is proper under certain circumstances. One, you know in your heart you have left God. You know it, and no one else does, but you know it. You have broken the covenant between you and God. To come back, you ought to reestablish the covenant by the outward symbol of baptism. Two, you left the truth and joined some of the church that does not preach the truth. You apostatize. You deny Christ's truth like Peter denied him. Come back, come back through the rite of baptism. Or you were honestly a part of a group that taught certain principles that were not biblical. You were honestly a part, did not know any better. You came to these meetings and the noonday sun of light flashed into your heart. And you realize that you have been way off. You want to come onto the track of truth. You get baptized. And I'll be making a call at the end of the message for baptism and rebaptism. You were baptized as a child and really didn't know what you were doing. Now you know. Make the decision for yourself, not for your parents who try to force you to be baptized at 10. Those are generally the reasons why people consider rebaptism. Thank you. God bless you.